Hello dear students, welcome to the online education of class 6 science. So dear students, already I have started the lesson body movements. In that I explained about the different kinds of movements in the joints and also I explained about the uh, movement in the earthworm that is gait of animals. So in today's class let me discuss about the snail, movement of snail. So here it's simple activity is given here. Look at the diagram figure of uh, you know, a snail. So you might have already observed so snail which is moving in the garden slowly even on the roads okay it's a very slowest animal to move okay so have you seen a snow snail on the roads or near garden or ever during the rainy season it is more in time more in number right so have you seen a rounded structure on the body of a snail which is always carried by it and its back yes it is called a hardest shell it is this is called the shell okay and it is the outer skeleton of the snail see it is not the different part of the snail okay just it is the very hard substance it is we call it as a shell and it is the harder skeleton or outer skeleton of the snail it's a skeleton part of the snail so but it is not made up of bones so there are no bones are there here it is but still it is very Hard. okay so the shell is what a single unit it is okay so it's single unit so and it does not help in moving so it is a single unit is formed here so but does not help in movement so this shell will not help for any kind of movement okay so uh, it has to uh, it has to be dragged along that's why the shell has to be dragged along with its uh, movement of its body so it will not carry uh, not be moved you know automatically right so place uh, some this snail on a glass plate I mean a slippery glass plate you place it on and you try to watch the kind of movement it does so when it starts moving start observing its uh, no movement on the glass plate so now carefully tilt the glass plate along with the snail over your head immediately you tilt it make it reverse along with the, with the snail on it okay so what do you observe here so you try to observe the movements of the snail from the beneath when it is straight uh, no glass it is there okay so glass plate is there uh, on that you kept a snail and observe its movement and also observe uh, just you reverse or tilt the snail uh, no, that glass plate and observe the snail so it will not fall down from the glass even if it is reversed or tilted so there is a reason for that okay a thick structure and the head of the snail may come out of the opening see there is one thick structure it is there so and the head of the snail may come out the head of the snail and thick structure may come out of the opening in the snail okay so the thick structure is its foot so what you think the thick structure you will see at the back it is its foot okay so it is made up of very strong muscles its foot is made up of what very strong muscles so now carefully tilt the glass tube or glass plate reverse manner so the motion of the very uh, the, these uh, motion of this foot can be seen here by the help of uh, foot the movement of the in these animal it can be seen but it is very slow as compared to the earthworm so this is all about the movement of snail so dear students let's go for the cockroach so dear students you all are familiar with the cockroaches especially in the kitchen okay so near the sink and all you will find that when you suddenly put on the light so they start running more to, um, running towards the hidden places so they are you know afraid of what light they try to move towards the dark place so cockroaches usually walk they can walk they can climb and even fly in the air okay so they have three pairs of legs so how many pairs of legs are there for a cockroach three pairs of legs are there okay so now so these you uh, know it has a very hard they, these legs which have which are three pairs you know so they can help in walking so walking is made possible with the three pairs of legs they have okay so the baby is can the body is converted with a hard outer skeleton so the body is covered with a very hard outer skeleton if you observe here skeleton, uh, skeleton of that cockroach outer body so outer body is covered with a what a harder skeleton outer skeleton so the outer skeleton is made up of different joints units joined together so different units are joined together form the outer cell skeleton so in that form is the movement okay so there are two pairs of wings which are attached to these uh, uh, you know cockroaches okay at the, its breast place it is attached so the cockroaches have the distinct muscles distinct kind of muscles are present in the cockroach so those are present near the legs 
which helps for moving the legs or walking okay so the breast muscles have the wings when the cockroaches flies so whenever the cockroaches fly the breast muscles are going to swing in the air so in this order the movement of cockroaches in the air takes place in the you know movement of cockroach takes place in the ground so dear students i hope you understood the concept of uh, you know the movement of a snail in the you know on the ground and also in the movement of the cockroaches okay dear students i hope you understood the concept and let me continue with the next concept in tomorrow's class thank you and have a nice day